I'm Ryan Laird, and I'm a singer-songwriter. If you're looking for a real-life love Someone to hold you when the world's too much Someone who understands in the night Someone to kiss your lips and hold you tight Then maybe take my hands Cause I'm your man If you want strength Girl, I can give it If you want to fall in love I'm already in it If you want a strong heart This is gonna last ever end. If you want that, baby, I'm your man. If you want strength, girl, I can give it. If you wanna fall in love, I'm already in it. If you want a strong heart and a biggest fan, a baby. I'm Your Man is my first single I've ever released out to, uh, to country radio. The song was inspired by my brother and his girlfriend, Shannon. He'd uh, broken up with her when, it, when he went off to college, and uh, a couple of years went by. And when I came home uh, to visit him, he, uh, he said to me, Ryan, I, I made a big mistake. I, I never should have broke up with Shannon. You know, what can I do? I need to get her back. And I just uh, I said to him, man, I'm not, I'm not sure what to tell you, but uh, how about I'll write you a song for her? So uh, that was the inspiration for I'm Your Man, and uh, I went back to Nashville on another songwriting trip and got together with uh, Jason McCoy, and we ended up uh, coming up with the song. I used to be a loner, keeping one foot and the other on a line that I drawn. Saw so many lovers doing damage to each other that I chose to be alone. And you found me suddenly, everything changed. You opened up my heart, and now I'll never be the same. I was wrong. Thought of love. 
lover could show me all the colors the way you do with me I thought I would be all right forever on my own then you opened up my heart and baby now I know nice feeling to know that uh, you know all this work and time that I put into an effort that I put into uh, writing and recording and, and come out, coming up with these songs uh, I'm you know in, in the case of I'm your man being my first single I'm getting a chance to get exposure to that song to to a wider audience and I mean that's a great feeling I mean uh, as an artist I mean it's uh, the first thing for me is, is always the music. I mean, I just love making music and performing music, but uh, you know, it's, it's such a, a great bonus and everything when um, you know, people will, uh, will recognize my song. Or you know, I came back home from Nashville a couple weeks ago uh, up to Ontario here, and uh, you know, I have friends in my hometown or just people that uh, you know, are telling me they've heard my song on the radio or whatever, and uh, you know, this is the first time this has happened to me, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely exciting. I spent my first few years in Nashville just writing with a whole bunch of people. Uh, there's a bunch of Canadians down there I wrote with, and then uh, you know some Americans as well. And after probably about those you know three years or so, I uh, I kind of found Eric Silver and Monty Powell, and uh, we had a great collaborative. Uh, kind of thing going on so we uh, you know we started just kind of writing a bunch together and most of the songs that I that I perform now on my set are, uh, are songs that we've written together. Summer is a girl that uh, I met last summer and uh, her name uh, was spelt S-O-M-M-E-R so uh, you know her and the summertime I guess kind of collectively inspired that song and uh, you know it's a song about meeting her uh, and the time that we spent together that summer. I came up with that chorus first the little uh, you know it's sneaking kisses in the back of the car not telling anybody where we are it's summer love you know it just seemed like such a hooky little thing and it's all true stuff that happened you know I mean that's and I think a lot of uh, you know maybe uh, people when they're teenagers or whatever and they're going through some of those first relationships in their lives uh, go through some of those type of things. It's cold under this midnight moon So I got a blanket and I got you Next to me Staring up at the starlit sky Making wishes that this July would never leave. I always thought I was born to run, wouldn't slow down for anyone. But this is too much fun. It's sneaking kisses in the back of the car, not telling anybody where we are. It's summer love. Summer love. So we can be alone It's falling asleep Talking on the phone It's summer love Summer 
basically a song about, uh, you know, if you've ever had someone and you kind of foolishly let them slip out of your life and you're, uh, you know, you're left, uh, you're left thinking, man, you know, I, I really messed this thing up. But, uh, it may or may not be personal. <laughs> no, but uh, it was, uh, it was about a past, uh, it was about a, a past uh, relationship that, uh, you know, is, is no longer. Um, but, you know, the good thing about those situations is that you can, uh, you can learn from them for the future. Some clumsy love song And doing my best to right the wrong That everybody else could see But me Why was I so blind to see The obvious The love I could have had I just set free She wants the one, she wants the only one for me I hear she's happy now Got a new love, new town Look at the life she found without me Yeah, she's a one in a million She's every man's dream and then some Now it's a little too late to want the one That everybody else could see But me Why was I so blind to see the obvious The love I could have had I just set free Now that girl is gone God, what have I done? She was the one, she was the one She was the only one So blind to see the obvious, the love. 
job I could have had I just set free And now that girl is gone God, what have I done? She was the one, she was the one, she was She was the one, the only one She was the one, she was the one, she was the only one for me I always had the, uh, you know, rock star dreams or whatever. <laughs> but uh, when I was uh, f about five years old, my parents put me in uh, classical piano lessons. And, uh, you know, so that was a good, I think the piano is a great foundation instrument for, uh, you know, when you're first starting out in music. So I got a bit of that training and uh, a couple years went by and, uh, you know, my, uh, my rock star uh, ambitions were, <laughs> You know, we're getting bigger, I guess. So I, uh, I got, I asked them for a guitar, and, and that next Christmas, they, uh, my parents gave me my first guitar, and I, th I think I was about seven years old at the time. And uh, you know, just never put it down since, and uh, just kept playing. So I, I've been, I guess that's about 20 years now. I've been, uh, been rocking away on it, and I, I just, uh, I'd come home every night after school and, and practice and whatnot. And I had a sibling band in my teens, so my, uh, my brother's still my drummer, and uh, my sister used to play keyboards with us as well in our teens, and my, my family would. Uh, They'd drive us around in, in my grandparents' like early 70s old beater motorhome. And we'd drive around all around Ontario to the folk festivals and, and fall fairs and whatnot and, and perform on weekends. And uh, you know, that was a great experience to, uh, to learn a lot about the music business, like how to book your own shows and uh, how to kind of manage yourself in the beginning. My mom and I did a lot of that in the beginning uh, when we didn't have any support system. And, uh, but it's great because you learn along the way what to do and what not to do. And uh, I think that's all been a good education for, for me to you know, utilize some of that stuff here today. For the rest of my life, really, I, I just want to be, uh, be making music, continue writing new music, uh, recording new music, putting out albums, you know, being full time at this music career, this crazy business, and, uh, and be touring. You know, touring for me is, is really one of the most important aspects of the music industry. I, I love to tour, you know, I get, you travel, you meet new people, and, uh, and I get to share, you know, my, my babies, as I call them, my, my songs with, uh, with people and, and see what their reactions are to the songs. So, you know, I would love to be playing, you know, 200 dates a year, traveling around the world and, uh, and sharing my music with people. You know, a Canadian, uh, Brian Adams, who's one of my, my big, biggest influences, you know, he's, he's really a worldwide musician, I, I like to say, because he, he travels, uh, and he's got it good now because he's done the whole stadium gigs and all that stuff. And now he, uh, I think he said he does 10, 10 dates or 10 days a month month, he'll go out on the road uh, around different parts of the world and perform. And then he takes the rest of that time to, uh, you know, to be back home and, and do some other things in his life. But, uh, you know, I could see myself maybe later in life, you know, if, if I ever get that kind of opportunity, which I'm, I'm working towards, uh, you know, to be doing that. I woke up this morning trying to figure out what this world is all about So I picked up my guitar, one of the only things I know I can't live without I called my mom and I called the dog and I called some friends to try and find some sanity I keep thinking the same things, doing the same Things, feeling a little low CD. Then I laughed at myself. I couldn't resist. Guess we all go through it. It is what it is. I'm gonna be just fine. We all get a little crazy sometimes. Your head works overtime. And you feel a little shaky, but I. I'm still gonna shine We all get a little crazy sometimes Yeah Sometimes I look in the mirror And try to figure out who's looking back at me I overanalyze and strategize Till I can't find my way from A to B Take a deep breath and I let it all go I don't have it figured out, but inside I know I'm gonna be 
just fine We all get a little crazy sometimes Your head works overtime And you feel a little shaky But I don't be alright The sun's still gonna shine I know for sure that, uh, you know, I've got my family. They've been with me, uh, you know, supporting my music and, and my musical aspirations my whole life. And, uh, you know, I know that I've, I've got, uh, I've got this, this thing I do, my, my talent and, and my music. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just want to keep doing that for the rest of my existence and, uh, and see where it takes me.